In this energy update, I want to talk about the solar storms and the powerful effect that they have on your body. Even though it could seem like this energy is wreaking havoc on your systems, making you feel extremely fatigued and exhausted. That's what I've been experiencing a little bit of lately, and others have been reaching out with the same thing. It is part of the process due to the expansion of consciousness that's happening within you as you ground and integrate this high-frequency light, your consciousness expands. And that causes your body to release this dense energy that it's been holding on to for a long, long time. I think it's been like, it is like coiled up. It's just a coiled up rubber band for years and years and years and decades and decades. For those of you who are closer to my age, right? We've been experiencing just this fight or flight response for the longest time because we've been programmed for that type of survival instinct or survival situation based on what we're told and what we've learned and what we've agreed from an early age, a young age, uh, as truth for us. But now we're awakening and we know that those old beliefs no longer serve us. So that creates space within the body. We start to become the observer and we attract more of divine light. And that divine light shows up through the sun, right? Through the portal, the solar portal. And that shows up at solar flares and those types of, you know, CME type events. That's the you returning to you through or entering the solar system through the sun. It is a portal and that energy moves into your body, it expands your consciousness, it expands your tissue, right? It's higher frequency light, it's vibrating faster, everything starts to get moving, and that which does not resonate to that just gets released. It's all the dense energy, so that comes up. And that's going to create symptoms of feeling extremely fatigued, really, really tired. Think about it. As I was saying earlier, that coiled up rubber band, it's been holding all of this tension, all of this energy, it's been stuck not moving for a long, long time. Now it's finally moving. Think of it as your body is starting to breathe. It's expanding. Then you're anchoring energy in. It's expanding and you're anchoring it back in, kind of like a big divine breath, right? So all that density is being freed up within your body. It's moving through your system. You're alchemizing it. And that can cause you to feel really tired. Your body is finally letting go of that tension, that fight or flight response, the nervous system is finally starting to calm, that you are going to feel tired. What should you do in that situation? Well, that's a sign from your higher self for you to actually take a step back and slow it down and honor the process. Your body's like, whoa, okay, I'm getting my bearings here. Things are changing. I'm feeling a little bit more calm. I don't have to be so stressed all the time. I don't have to be in fight or flight mode. Let's take a big, deep breath and let's reset and let's relax. So as these big waves of energy come in, that's the process that's happening within your body. Your nervous system and your, your body as a whole is trying to adapt and become a higher frequency physical vessel to hold more of your divine light. So that requires you to be able to slow it down and honor that process. You want to stay hydrated. You want to chill. You want to sit. You want to ground. A lot of grounding because if you don't ground and this light's coming in, you're going to start to become like an over-amped, overcharged battery. Again, you're going to start to feel really tired, right? You're starting to decompress. The light's coming in. Your body's having a hard time keeping up with all the physiological, physiological changes that are happening within. You need to honor that process. An over-amped battery sometimes needs a discharge. It needs to be grounded. Make sure you stay hydrated. Ground and anchor into your body. If that is more meditation, maybe taking a little bit of time off of work, just slowing it down, whatever that looks like for you to enable you to become present and just be with and sit with all of this dense energy that's being released. And yes, you're going to feel tired. That's a normal part of the process. Slowing it down, being with that energy, honoring the, the ascension process, honoring your body as it is stepping up or leveling up into a higher dimensional state will go a long way. You need to be conscious of this and take those steps to do that. We've spent years distracting ourselves, keeping ourselves busy while we were in this state of fight or flight. Again, now it's just a big release happening and that can feel exhausting. So slow it down. 
ground into the body, ground deep into Gaia, hydrate, meditate a little bit more, observe your thoughts, slow your mind down by bringing that focus into the body, align with your breath, focus into your breath. That helps move energy through your body. These waves are going to keep coming. I don't want you to think of them as a negative thing. It is a very, very good thing. It's part of this process. Again, it is you, your higher self, your soul's energy coming into this universe through the solar portal and landing in your body and trying to find a home. That's what we call integration, right? Soul integration. We need to create the space by becoming present, focusing inward so that we can alchemize all of the dense energy that is finally released when this process unfolds and it happens in waves. It's happening now. You may feel like you get a little bit of break, maybe feel a little bit more energized and sure enough, it's going to happen again. This is a spiral staircase, not a direct climb, right? So take the time to be present, honor the process. If you're feeling that exhaustion, like I said earlier, that so many are experiencing that fatigue, bring it back in, slow it down and breathe. Allow yourself to just be present and feel everything that is rising up from within.